Let's get hands-on with AWS Health Dashboard. I'm at my AWS console. Go to the Health Dashboard. I'm on AWS Health Dashboard. First, let's look at Service Health. If you click on Service History, it will display all the AWS services by region and by day. For example, for North America, if you look at Amazon Event Bridge Scheduler in Northern Virginia region, Today it is fine, it was fine yesterday, the day before yesterday, it was fine as well, and so on. If you scroll down you can look at all the services. You can realize that AWS is a very reliable cloud platform. You can find the health of a specific service or region if you would like to look into it. Also, if you have any open and recent issues you can find them here. This was about the general health of AWS. For your account health, you can find under your account health open and recent issues. If you click here, there are no recent issues. This displays issues that are impacting your account right now. If you click on the Scheduled Changes tab, this displays any upcoming events and ongoing events from the past seven days that might affect your AWS infrastructure, such as scheduled maintenance activities. The Other Notifications tab displays notifications and ongoing events from the past seven days that might affect your AWS account, such as certificate rotations, billing notifications, and security vulnerabilities. If you click on event log, it displays issues that were opened and closed with start time and last updated time. This only applies to my account. For example, if I click on operational issue, it displays its detail, such as when the issue was started, when it was resolved, and the description. You can click on the affected resource tab to find out the resources that were impacted by this issue. That way you can see the difference between service health and account health. You can also get your organization's health by configuring it to get visibility to the health of all your AWS accounts that are part of your organization. If you would like to have automation, you can integrate health with EventBridge. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked it.